Hi heathens! Today's video I am so, so very excited for. However, I need to start with a few disclaimers. One is video related but not content related. I found a way to get my O-ring to work, so hopefully with the way that it's set up and the brightness that it's at, uh, this is one down, this is one up. It doesn't wash anything out, provides a good amount of light considering even if I open my blinds completely, there's not a lot being contributed um, natural light wise. So that is my first disclaimer. So you'll have to let me know down below. And my second disclaimer is I absolutely love ColourPop. Um, they are hands down one of my favorite brands, have been since I started getting into makeup. They are affordable. The quality is incredible. They have a lot of collections releasing all the time, which is a blessing and a curse, <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it. Um, however, I feel like they severely missed the mark with the color scheme of this collab. Um, you know, I'll give my thoughts a little more in depth as we get into it. And in the meantime, I'm going to take off my current makeup while I tell you about this collection, which you obviously know because you clicked on the video. But this is the much anticipated for not just me, ColourPop and Nightmare Before Christmas collab. That being said, I am going to compare the color scheme of the palette to a very, very old, very out of date, pretty sure one shade is actually getting moldy. It's gross. Don't at me. I could not get rid of it. I've never even used it. You'll see when we get into it. Um, old, 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 Hot Topic, Nightmare Before Christmas palette. Um, I don't even know if it has a date on here. No, I don't think so. So anyway, you'll see. Um, yeah, manufactured in 2017. So it's old. <laughs> The color story, in my opinion, as a lifelong fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, is much more Nightmare Before Christmas than the Color Pop collab is. I feel like it was a severe missed opportunity for them to kind of, I don't want to say go back to their roots, but they used to have a lot of colors that were a little out there that they don't have anymore. Um, and while I really love neutrals, I feel like this was the perfect collab to incorporate some really slimy greens, some gorgeous, like, bluish teals, and just a lot of pops of color that got overlooked and apparently replaced with pink, which I personally don't understand. I also don't care for pink, but I promise that's not where my bias is coming from. So without further ado, we're going to get on in. I'm going to show you the items that I did get from the collab. I did not get the whole collection, um, partially because I wasn't interested and partially because my funds did not allow me to. So we are going to get on in. Came in my little box here. I'm going to take all the items out of this box and then we will discuss everything one item at a time. So first I'm going to show you the item that I'm not going to be using in this video, uh, but I'm a door. Now, if I ever manage to make it big, this video alone is going to ensure that ColourPop never <laughs> wants to work with me, but they hit it out of the park with this packaging. Um, this is one of the cutest boxes I've ever seen in my life. So this is the Zero detail blending sponge. And I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but the snowflakes on the box are actually glitter. You've got the gorgeous stripes, the detailing on the sides, incredible packaging on everything, even the inside of the box. How stinking cute. And then here, I'm going to let you see the full inside of the box just adorable. And then the little sponge. Who doesn't want zero on a sponge? So cute. I'm not going to use this because I'm afraid to ruin it. I kind of bought this just for the uh, appeal. 
and I'm going to admit that. So this is going to stay in its adorable little packaging right here in front of me. Now, on to some of the other items that I will be using. Uh, I got one Jelly Much Shadow, one of the lipsticks, and the uh, eyeshadow palette. So the Jelly Much, which I've never used this formula, so we're going to have a little fun. The Jelly Much that I received is the Lock Jelly Much. The color just seemed more like something that I'm going to wear regularly than the other two did. I really wanted all three, um, but at the moment in time, just couldn't bring myself to financially do it. Now, if the collection is still available when I have more funds, 100% I am buying the other jelly munches. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take the little plastic lid off. It's like this gorgeous purple black half filled because it was sideways um, color. So we will be trying that. Now whether I do half and half, I don't know yet. I'm going to kind of make that determination once I look at the palette in person to determine what colors I want to use. We have our lipstick. Of course I got the Jack lipstick. I wanted Sally, but I can't justify buying another pink lipstick at this time. So I bought the red. These actually come as little ornaments. So you can hang them on Christmas trees. Tell me that's not the cutest. Try to open it without ripping it. I just, this packaging, incredible. Color story. Definitely some missed opportunities. Ooh, I love the little bottle. Bottle? Component? I love it. It's got like a see-through gray. And then you've got this gorgeous red with, oh, that's wiggly. The beautiful embossing. Oh, beautiful. I'm very happy with this. Again, packaging hit it out of the park. Now, <laughs> on to the biggest culprit. <clears throat> Again, gorgeous, stunning, stunning packaging. The names of the shades, incredible. The color story, Leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just saying if you're going to collab with something that has been requested at such a magnitude as Nightmare Before Christmas, maybe try to match it a little bit more to the actual color scheme of the movie. As a palette, it smells good. As a palette, it's beautiful. As a Nightmare Before Christmas palette, I don't understand the pinks. So now, before I swatch these, I'm going to show you the color scheme of the Disney and Hot Topic Simply Meant to Be eyeshadow palette. Like I said, this is very old. Um, it still has the plastic on it, but you can still make out the color story. Now, a lot of the shades are very similar. You've got, you know, your kind of browns, your tans, a purple, um, a grayish, the little goldish, uh, but you see what I mean? This is just much brighter and not in a Nightmare Before Christmas way, but in a they really wanted to put pink in the palette. <laughs> um, it just doesn't make sense to me, but it's gorgeous. I actually like it a lot more in person than I did online. But again, I feel like there were some missed opportunities. I'm getting glitter all over my fingers, by the way, from the outside. An oogie green really should have been in this collection somewhere, whether it's the palette, a jelly much, a lipstick, a green highlight. I don't care. I just feel like 
especially if you're going to use him on some of that packaging. Should have been there. All right, we're going to swatch these. I'm going to try my best to do swatches. Y'all know how I am with swatching. And then we're going to put stuff on my face. So we're going to start first with Zero, which is a gorgeous creamy shimmer. Then Meant to Be, which is like a satin khaki gray. It's a very interesting color. Uh, Dear Friend, which is like a brownish. These are very soft, by the way. Um, in my bones, I'm barely pressing and have already almost ruined the snowflake on Dear Friend. So we are going to swatch these down my arm in real time here and then wipe them off and go into the next row. So it is a 12 pan palette so it makes swatching easy because I can do four four and four. So we have Pumpkin Patch, the gorgeous gold shimmer, Christmas Town, the pink shimmer, Frog's Breath, what looks like it might be like a beautiful duochrome. Oh, it is. That seems very pretty. And Dr. Finkelstein, which is like the shimmery purple. So again, swatching. I hope this is in frame down the arm. Not my favorite swatches from ColourPop, but I feel like it's going to be one of those palettes that just performs better on the eyes. Because that just happens. Um, then we have What's This, which is like this satin orange. Sandy Claws, which is the other pink. Um, Everybody Scream, which is a purple. And then Halloween Town, which is a beautiful black shimmer. I really hope that comes out like it does on my finger in the swatch. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So this is the entire palette swatched. And without further ado, we're going to start putting stuff on my eyeballs. So I have not as I said, used the Jelly Much formula before. So I'm gonna use that on one eye and kind of go in on top of it later with a shimmer. And then I'm gonna use just the palette shadows on the other eye. I feel like I maybe need a little more light. Is that a little better? Okay. Hopefully that's not washing me out. So I'm going to take the Jelly Much and I'm going to use what is on the little top. See how much that gives me and I'm going to ensure that I shut my jelly much. Hey, it almost matches my nail polish. Huh. Totally unplanned. I've been wearing this nail polish for a couple days now. Um, let's just take, I assume you use these with a brush. So I'm just going to take a clean little fluffy brush and pat into it, see what I can get, and just put that on my eye. Okay, yeah, that seems to be working fine with a brush. I mean, about as well as any cream shadow would. Kind of got a little bunchy over there. I'm going to actually take some on my finger, put it on my eye, and then use the brush to just blend it out. Wow. Wow. Honestly, I'd probably use this shade alone and call it a day if I could get it nice and blended on the edges. There's a lot still happening on my finger here. I'm going to try to blend out the edges without putting that finger anywhere on my face. Not the friendliest blend. I don't know if that's just me because I'm not used to the formula or if they're just better as finger shadows because I know like the super shocks are definitely better as finger shadows so it could just be 
that it's really something you need to use your finger with. I have plenty left on this little cap, so I'm going to throw that back on the shadow and twist her in. Uh, yeah, let me clean up a little bit. So you can definitely see on the makeup wipe that there was still plenty of pigment and color on my hand. I'm going to show you these swatches one more time before I clean off my arm because otherwise it is going to get all over my shirt if it is not already. So I'm going to let this kind of dry down a little bit while I do my other eye and then we might go in and add a shimmer. But this is what the lock jelly much looks like on its own now oh i should clean up the outer edge huh because that's messy and that's my fault okay user error wow wow okay <laughs> hmm. that is a dirty brush probably should have made sure i had a handful of clean brushes before starting this huh wouldn't be a good sunny video would it making sure there's nothing on that. I'm gonna take this stained, very fluffy brush and tap into, I don't even know what colors I wanna use. All right, I'm gonna tap into Dear Friend, which is the snowflake that I've already started to ruin. And we are going to put that everywhere and working it into the crease. I do like that a lot of the shades in here kind of lean cool tone because I feel like a lot of Tim Burton's films in general have a very cool tone aesthetic. They're very dark and gothic feeling. And I think for me, not that you can't see a goth in pink, but I think for me that's why the pink stands out because if someone says, what are the top three colors you associate with Nightmare Before Christmas? Or hell, even the top ten? Pink is not on my list. And so it just stands out to me like a sore thumb. They're gorgeous pinks. They just don't scream Nightmare Before Christmas to me. Alright, so now I'm going to tap into In My Bones, which is the gray shade on that top row. Get a little bit of that. And just try to deepen the outer edge up into the crease. Now we are going to use my finger. We're going to go in with two different shimmers. First I'm going to tap into Frog's Breath because I really just want to see how this performs on the eye because it's that gorgeous like duochrome -y vibe. Oh yeah. I'm living for this color, but I am going to say if you have seen the pictures for the new The Child Mandalorian collab, this looks a lot like that middle shade in the palette. I haven't seen it swatched, but just the overall shift looks very similar to what it looks like that shade is going to look like. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just seems weird. It seems like they're recycling shades kind of a lot recently because the collections are coming like that. It's kind of hard to come up with fully unique color stories in general, let alone when you're dropping a new collection every two weeks. Just saying. Um, I'm really shooting myself in the foot here, aren't I? Now I'm going to take, hmm, let's go with Dr. Finkelstein. No, you know what? Let's, let's do it. We're going in with Christmas Town, the pink. And we're going to concentrate that on the inner half of the eye over that other shimmer. Frog's Breath. They look quite nice layered like that. And then of course 
we're going to go in with a very small brush and tap into zero to highlight the inner corner. That is a very bright shade. Wow, that is gorgeous. Wow. All right, is this dry? Yeah, okay. So if I tap it, a little bit of glitter comes off, but I can't really tell what's glitter from that and what's glitter from the palette. So I feel safe putting something on top of it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go in with Dr. Finkelstein, because they're very similar, because this is the purple in the palette, and just tap that right across the middle. Oh yeah, that's a combination. It just like blends right in. Now I bet you if you took Dr. Finkelstein and Halloween Town and put them together, it would come out a lot like this jelly much. All right, so that's Halloween Town. There's more on my finger than on my hand, but you know how that goes. And then Dr. Finkelstein on top of it. The jelly much has a lot more glitter, but if you don't like glitter, you could kind of recreate that color with the palette. I mean, definitely not identical because this has a lot more reflect in it. But the overall vibe is there. I'm going to take that same brush that I used on my inner corner for the other eye and tap into Pumpkin Patch, which is the gold, and use that on the inner corner for this eye. Again, very gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Two very different eye looks. And now... Last but not least, we get to try the Jack lipstick. Really don't want to mess it up, but I have to use it. Okay. Of course, gorgeous red. Very creamy. Does it say, yeah, Cream Luxe Lipstick? Love that lipstick. Okay, so my overall thoughts on the collab. The products perform incredibly. They're color pop. They're affordable. They're great quality. Giant, giant missed opportunity on some of the colors. I feel like the color scheme, 7 out of 10. Could have been a solid 10 out of 10 if just one of these pinks, like Sandy Claws, if that was a red and Christmas Town was a silver, or if they replaced What's This, even though I'm glad there's an orange with an oogie boogie green, and then replaced Christmas Town with a Sally Teal, I feel like we would have been much more on the route of Nightmare Before Christmas. But as far as pigmentation, quality, ease of use, and just overall how I feel about the products, 10 out of 10, like always. I don't think that I've ever been disappointed with a ColourPop product other than the matte foundation, and that's because it looked like poop on me. Doesn't mean it was a bad product. Um, yeah, so that is it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It means so much to me. Uh, like. That's the same thing as a thumbs up. Where is my brain? Subscribe if you want to see more. I know some of y'all are not subscribed, um, but it really does help with the algorithm to kind of get my name out there. Share my videos if you want. That's all I've got. I will leave all my appropriate links down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.